So this is how you perform a lap stop. Straight down the center. Straight down to center. Now you may see the drill done this way. That's from a bong sao. But you do this. So that means I would do a bong straight down the center. Bong straight down the center. Bong sao straight down the center. So this is the lap. The center line lap anyway. So in the chum Q form, when you do the bong chun lap, it slides down the center. So what I wanted to explain is that your bong and wu are in your center line now. But when you do the, uh, the chun sao, you go to the central line and then slide down the center. So it's going to look like this. Bong and wu in the center, then go to the central line and slide down. So, bong and wu in the center line. I go to the central line, then slide down the center. Got it? Bong and wu in the center line, go to the center line, and then slide down the center. You don't want to do that windshield wiper pattern arc like that. So when I do the bong and the woo in the center, if I did this, this line of attack is open. See? I want to cover myself. Even if I'm in a fighting position, if somebody throws a spray punch, I might want to cover like this. If I covered like that, I'd get hit. If I covered like this, I'd get hit. So from here, bong. And Wu in the center. Chin Sao, the threading arm, goes on the central line. Then it comes back to the center. So, boom. Central line. Center line. I'll forget this hand. Just do the left arm for this. Bong out here. Uh, sorry. Bong in the center. Chin in the central. Back to the center. Bong here. Back. So, where your elbow is in the Bong Sao, that's where you that's the line you want to trace because if i were here that's the line of attack okay even though this is for a round punch it's the same thing because the guy could do a round punch maybe a fake and then shoot out across so if i did this or if i did this he could hit me so in case he threw the cross i got this so this is the same principle you would use for a straight punch or a round punch. So in the round punch, I'm getting it. I'm raising his arm above my head, but I'm covering this line in case he throws a secondary punch, and then I lop down the center. There is no arc. The tendency when people step is to swing the arm out away from the center line. So I bong, chun. So sliding down this cane, straight line. Bong sao, slide down the cane. I don't deviate left or right. Because my goal is to get the punch over my head. The punch counts, I bring it over my head, lop and hit. Now the form shows you here and you pull back. That's for training. Uh, sorry, center line. Here, pull back. But in actuality, it would be here, lop and strike. Or here, and lop and strike, like you do in the third part of the form. So remember, the bong and wu are in the center. The Wu stays here, this goes to the central line, then you lop and pull back. So bong in the center, central line, straight down the straight down the center. Remember that. 